All right guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to skate ledges from Trent McClung. So, you probably heard me say this a million times, but I was at Street League probably like a month ago, got to talk to a lot of pros and ask them their secrets to doing things that they're really good at. Trent McClung is just a ledge killer. If you've watched any of his primitive parts, he just does the craziest stuff, just the most insane like flip in, flip out stuff. Like he's on, I, would, I feel like he's on the same level as like Mark Sushu and personally, I like Trent McClung's style a little bit better. So he is the real deal and in just a second we're going to get into Trent McClung's tips for skating ledges and then today's session is going to be all about learning how to skate ledges like Trent McClung using his tip and just trying to get comfortable. So first thing we got to do is head over to the skate park, get warmed up and then we'll get into Trent McClung's secret to skating ledges. Let's get it. Woo. Alright guys, well that warm up took a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'm pretty gassed, but I did want to save a little bit of my energy to actually work on skating these ledges. So the reason I wanted to do this is because the other day I came to this ledge right here. First hit of the day. I went to ollie up into a 50-50 and this thing was buttered up. And right before I like rolled into it, I thought to myself, wow, that thing's buttery. If I miss my trucks, if my trucks miss the lock, this thing is just gonna go sliding out. Anyways, manifested that, that's exactly what happened. I jumped on, sh my legs shot out, and my back landed right on top of the ledge. Obviously, I'm like totally okay, but in my head, I was just like, man, enough is enough. All it is is a, a ledge and a 50-50, but because I don't practice skating ledges, it's kind of just like unnecessarily dangerous. So let's listen to Trent McClung's trick tip on skating ledges, and then I'll let you guys know how we're gonna go about working on our ledge skating today. So cue Trent McClung. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how to skate ledges better. What would be like your biggest tip for skating ledges? Persistence maybe? A lot of, a lot of okay. trial and error, you know? I know like, I was talking to Manny earlier and he says to like stay inside the ledge. Do you have any tips like for like holding? Cause I, like you particularly, you like sit on it. Yeah, like, really. I guess yeah, just you have the weight right. You know what I mean? On top, like depends on the trick, but if you have all the weight, like if you're doing like a back tail or something, all the weight is on your back foot. You know, tail uh -huh. like a crooks is on your heel, but you're kind of leaning forward. Okay. I don't know, it's kind of hard to like, Explain, I guess, you know okay. what I mean? It's just, I go off feeling too, so you know? So it's just each trick kind of has a different weight position, so yeah. you just have to figure out where yeah, to put yeah. your weight. Exactly, it depends on the ledge, obviously, you know? Like a metal ledge is gonna go, right. you know? But if it's like chunky, it's a little bit harder. You know, round, you slip out, so. Okay. I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's different for everybody, you know what I mean? But yeah. Okay. So there's two things that Trent McClung mentioned. Number one is just persistence. Just being patient, sticking with it, and practicing a lot. <laughs> I think it's really interesting that somebody that is so good at ledge skating, like Trent McClung is, like this guy can just do whatever trick he wants to, seemingly like first try every time. From his answer, it seems like it just definitely wasn't always that way and that he put in a lot of work to be able to get his ledge skating to where it's at. So secret number one is really that there is no secret, that it's just at the end of the day, you gotta put in the work. But I was talking to Christiana Means, Manny Santiago's girlfriend, and she was telling me that Manny's tip 
was to sit on the inside of the ledge. You basically keep your weight on the side of the ledge that you came from ever so slightly to hold your grind or your slide in the right position. So the second thing Trent mentioned was just how with each different ledge, each different trick, there's a particular body position or a position where you need to put all of your weight. So one of the keys to ledge skating is for each trick, finding the right balance point and the right position so that your grind goes effortlessly. And again, this comes back to tip number one, which is just practice. So today, even though I, I don't really want to, I'm gonna force myself to do a bunch of ledge tricks. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do five front 50s on the mani pad and then front five back 50s. And then we're gonna take it to the red ledge and we're gonna do, again, five front side, five back side, and then we're gonna take it to the bigger ledge, five front side, five back side. Then from there, I'm gonna do five nose slides, five crooks, five five O's, and then five half cap nose slides. That's all gonna be on the big ledge. So after all is said and done, we're gonna do 50 tricks on the ledge, obviously repeating the same tricks a lot. But basically, I just wanna force myself to be in a position where I have to persist and have to be patient, like Trent McClung said. And then at the end, we'll see the result and see whether or not my confidence in ledge skating is feeling any better. So this is gonna be a battle, but uh, it's what you gotta do to get better, I guess. So let's go ahead and do 50 ledge tricks. definitely should have cut the warm-up a lot shorter because I'm like fully gassed and at first I wasn't counting them unless I got them back to back and I liked how they were so I ended up redoing a lot especially on the little ledge because I wanted them to be like good but at this point I'm just like kind of over it my body's feeling exhausted and I'm not sure I'm gonna get through all 50 but I mean we're 40% of the way I'm gonna take a quick break see if I can get a second win going and then uh, finish out the 50s on the big ledge I feel like that's gonna be the hardest part I feel like the nose slides, the crooks, the 5-0, and then the fakie like half cab nose slide, they're interesting enough that I think I'll enjoy the challenge or I'll just maybe be so gassed that I'll, I'll hate that as well. But really not looking forward to these last 50s on the big ledge. We gotta persist like Trent McClung says. <sighs> Probably need one more break before it's done. So yeah, do some more ledge tricks and then I'll check back in. Whew. cow this is getting rough i do have to say though doing all of those back 50s has definitely helped my back nose slides <laughs> like all of those nose slides they may not have been the prettiest but they were all in a row and i think it has to do with just like the shoulder position from practicing doing the correct like shoulder spin to get onto a back 50 that same shoulder position is what you use for a back nose so having practiced that shoulder movement all those back noses were first try so that's definitely encouraging but we've still got half cab nose five o's and crooks to go i think i'm gonna do half cab nose next just because those back noses were feeling so good so this could be a nightmare but we gotta persist like trent mcclung said just be patient and put in the work so half cab nose here we go Oh my hell, I am exhausted. But the half cap nose I think is gonna be kinda like the hardest one just because it's the one I do the least. But I am gassed, hopefully I'll be able to get through these crooks and then the five O's. But I'm gonna get some water and get right back into it. Whew. Just checking in to let you know this is exhausting. Alright guys, 
Well, I am soaked and that was super difficult. I just feel like persistence is like the most perfect word for describing what just happened. I can already tell that the repetition is starting to pay off. Like I mentioned with the no slides, using that shoulder motion from the back 50s really translated into the front no slides, also translated into, or sorry, back no slides and also translated into the back crook. So I definitely think I'm already seeing the results of putting in that kind of monotonous, repetitious practice. Personally, I don't think I've done these tricks enough to know for sure like Trent McClunk says like where the balance point is. So, so I don't think I can really speak to that, but what I did notice is just this idea of your hips delaying, your shoulders kind of leading your hips and your hips staying behind. That really helps the board stick to your feet like a lot, lot better. So I was watching this guy do a trick tip on back tails. And basically what he said is, although you're turning backside into a back tail, you drag your front foot towards the ledge and what that does is that allows your back foot to pull the board around into the correct position so a lot of times we have the tendency because our board say like on a back 50 is spinning towards our toes to start moving our feet sliding up into the toe side when in reality in order to get the best board control you want to slide it up into the heel side and that allows your back foot to start guiding the board where it needs to go so that was the key for me with back 50s and front 50s was to do that long out and around motion just like I did with the front side flips. If you haven't seen my video from yesterday learning front side flips, it's that same exact motion of going out and around, taking the long way to slide your foot straight and around. Instead of just going over to the side, go around and really exaggerate that sliding motion. And that will give you a lot more board control. So two things that I learned from today is one, your shoulders, if you're going backside towards the ledge, you need to actually, as you stand up, turn your shoulders backside. It's mandatory. Same thing with front side. It's almost like you're doing a, a front side 180. Like you have to spin a little bit. From there, as long as you're standing up and your shoulders are rotating front side or back side, depending on which side you're going. And then at that point, it's really about exaggerating that out and around motion. If you're going front side, you're gonna drag your foot more toe side and then around. If you're doing it back side, you're gonna go more heel side and around. But that helps you really control the board and sucks it up to your back foot so your back foot can place the board down into the lock where it needs to go. Then for like no slides, it's it's kind of a combination of back 50 and front 50. So with a, a back no slide, your shoulders are doing exactly what a back 50 would do, but your feet are doing what a front 50 would do. So your shoulders are are spinning that backside rotation but your foot is sliding out and around on the toe side like it would for a front 50 and that gives you the correct shoulder position and helps stick the board to your feet so that you can get it into that no slide proper every single time and I don't skate ledges like as much as I should but I was able to get those backside no slides uh, first try all five of them the crooks were a little bit more of a struggle but I think I did the last three in a row same thing with the, the half cab noses. Once I started getting them, I, I got a few in a row. And then the five O's took freaking forever. But once I did get three, it took me forever to get the first two, but then the last three were all in a row. But again, it's just the same concept of using your shoulders and then your feet go out and around that big, long sweeping motion to control the board and place it into the right position. So just really exaggerate that out and around. And as long as your shoulders are opening up for a front side or closing for a backside, that should get you into the right position. Anyways, I'm not a pro or anything, but that's just what I learned from today's session. Shout out to Trent McClung for keeping it real, saying that it all just comes down to persistence because that's what it is. Today was a struggle. I had to persist through it, but I think my ledge skating is going to benefit from sessions just like this. So it's getting really windy. Good, tough session today, but uh, I'm glad we did it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at the local Joe. Remember to make every single day a Friday. My shirt is soaked, but you can get this shirt along with other Friday shirts. The first link in the description to help support this channel to help remind yourself as well to make every single day a Friday. I'll catch you in the next video. See you tomorrow, guys.